Hello, my little mermaid friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mermaid Star Gamer, but you can call me Amanda. Today we are starting the Life on the Farm Rags to Riches with our little indigo from the Seven Baby Challenge. Thank you so much to Oriana Sim Studio and Laura Simming for coming up with this challenge. So let's go ahead and go through the guidelines. You can't use cheats. Only the ones that take money out, move objects, or cast for editing. Those are the only ones you can use. You and your spouse slash partner cannot hold jobs. Make sure to live farm life to the fullest. At the beginning, you can't sleep on the lot until you have a bed. You can instead have a tent and sleep in public places. You can only eat what you pick up, and you can cook on the lot if you have a fire pit in the beginning, in the beginning, and if you have the ingredients. Let me double check to see if Simple Living is on. Okay, so we have Off the Grid, Simple Living, Wild Boxes, and Prairie Grasses. Okay, let's see. You can't keep the money earned from your hobbies unless it's from cross-stitching or flower arranging. So no painting, no none of that. You can do it, but you're not going to be able to earn money. This challenge can go through many generations as you'd like. It's up to you how quickly you want to achieve the big goals. So we have to figure out when we want to stop and start the next kids challenge, which we can do a poll to see who we want to go next. I believe Fox was the second highest, so we might go with Fox. It all depends. Except for the specific ones for the founder and their spouse slash partner, all the goals won't have a time limit. As a teen, you can go to school or not. It's up to you. Start with the mayor for errands. Their tasks their tasks are the starter ones and will help you get to know the community and the world. If you want to play on the same lot, um, we're playing on 2 Old Mill Lane. This one. Normal Lifespan which I don't think I'm going to have her actually on a lifespan because we're going to be playing with a bunch of, we have the seven toddlers. If you want to check out the seven baby challenge that I did, go ahead and check out the link above or in the description box below. That way you can see where she came from. Autonomy's full age to start is actually young adult. She is now a young adult. And why are you, no, we're not aging you. Let me turn that off. No, and no animal aging. I don't want to deal with death. Country caretaker is the aspiration, which we have here. The traits are animal enthusiast and two of your choice. So the traits that we chose are rancher and collector. No likes or dislikes. Sim must be natural. Sims must gain these naturally. Start on an empty lot from Hanford on Bagley, and your lot must have the simple living wild boxes. Remove the off the grid challenge that is already preset for the lot, or keep it if you want an even bigger challenge. I'm going to keep the off the grid challenge because it's not that big of a deal. No lot traits, e.g., great soil, etc., can be applied after until after finishing your degree, because as you know, you first must learn how to improve your lot from the farm. On completion, you may add any ones that you'd like. Start off with zero simoleons. Testing. Sheets, true, money, zero. Okay, you can only earn money from errands and selling fish in the market shops. You can't earn money from crops or animals until you've completed your degree. No sales from inventory, never ever. Immerse yourself in the community by either selling on the market stalls or having your own selling table. You must gain the following skill levels. So logic three, which I believe she's already at. Yeah, logic three, handiness three, which is good. You have to pay $500 to the council before starting to build walls. You don't want the neighborhoods complaining. You don't want the neighbors complaining about the noise. To move on to the next set of goals, you have to have at least one of the one of each. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get started with this. We can just 
do the start challenge and then we'll go ahead and do building the farm next. And you can't sleep on the lot until you have a bed. You can have a, a tent, but sleep in public places. Indigo. Come over here and go fishing. Why don't we gather some water and then go fishing? Okay, and there's a bathroom right there. Cool. I don't know if you have fitness or fishing. No, you don't have fishing. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom, so. Acquired the fishing skill. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for indigo. Try fishing elsewhere until she has more skills to try to use more, more skill or try to use more valuable bait. It's fine. She has to go potty anyways. Ooh, harvest this blueberry. You can't make any money off of it, but you can still eat some. Rancher. Indigo is a rancher at heart. Her idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with the livestock. Well, you don't have a ranch right now. You have a plot of land that doesn't have any animals on it. No livestock. Just keep fishing over here. Eventually you're going to be crafty enough for these little fishers. Little fishies. You reached level two. Indigo can now catch bass, koi, and trout. Let's see, is anybody... Oh, it's bear night. We can come over here and get some... Come over here and grab some chips. And... Howdy introduction. Go ahead and nap right there. And again, and again, and again, and again. Need to find the mayor. I think she lives right here. No one is home. Oh look, it's Agnes. And there's food right there. The mayor. Get up. Come over here and grab some. And then go ahead and. Oh. Friendly introduction. Wake up. You're going to eat your food? No. I'm going to take you with me back to the bar. and talk to all these people. Eat your food. Uh, have a Henford heart to heart. What I am looking for when judging at the Finchwick Fair? Well, I'll always reward higher quality, rarity, size, and weight. And I do take into count, account how happy and clean the animals are. I'm quite chuffed at happy animals. I've got a spot for, of extra food. Would you be a deer and accept it? Enjoy it for me, will you? Aw. Did you give it to me? Watermelon salad? Why do you have... Hmm... <laughs> Money, zero. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I don't need it in my inventory. Don't need that either. Okay. Money. Zero. There. You can keep your private journal. 
but where did the mare go? She's running away. Offer help with errands. Hurry before she runs away from you. Run, 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 Indigo. Welcome to Henford on Begley. I already know you'll love it here, but just in case you need extra convincing, I've arranged a little self-guided local tour. Take up a few, take up a few of these few and fun, take up these few and fun, if I say so, errands. I'll make sure, and I'll make sure you get a small bundle of rewards at the end. Okay. Catch a fish in Old New Henford's Lake. You'll soon love it, our lovely little village as much as I do. Why don't you wander over to N Old New Henford and try to catch a fish in the lake, lake or visit some of the shopping stalls in fin Finchwick? Perhaps you'll be so daring to do both. Ah, if I could ask for a personal favor, would you kindly talk to the grocery delivery Deliverer, we're closed. We're close, but I've always found it difficult to talk about where our dreams differ. Okay. Browse the garden or grocery store. Um, respectful introduction, I guess, with Kim. Bay, sorry, Bay. I'm busy. Um, we'll just look because we can't buy anything. Okay, ask the, the grocery deliverer about their dreams. So, where's the deliverer? You. Um, howdy introduction with Uji? Yuji? Oh, he's scared. Really? <sighs> Have a Henford heart to heart. Why buy mushrooms and berries from the shops when you could be foraging them in Bramblewood and Old New Henford for free? Exactly. Offer help with errands. I don't know if that's going to get rid of it. Select up to three errands from various locals. Have you been outside the village? I was born here and I've been looking for a chance to explore beyond the borders of the woods and fences and it seemed that seemed to have defined my whole life. Would you mind helping me show a bit of what might what I might be missing, or maybe even talking to the mayor about my dreams. Or maybe even talking to the mayor about my dreams. Okay. I'll try that. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream? I dream every day of seeing the world, but my life has kept me here so far. For now, do you think you can... I could live vicariously through your travels. Take a picture of some place in far flung, some place far flung and spectacular, and bring it to me. I do wish I could make the mayor understand. Do you know that I've never had a chocolate pie? I just want to live. Take a photo outside of Henford on Bagley. Chat with the mayor about the grocery delivery, deliverer. Sorry, I gotta go to the bathroom. Come up here and go to the bathroom. And wash your hands. Brush your teeth. Wash your hands. Brush your teeth. Chat about the mayor with the grocery deliverer. Chat about the mayor. Oh no, don't go away. Don't go away. Where are you going? Don't leave me. 
Yuji. I've always felt quite close with the mayor, and I feel like I seek their approval before I make big cho big choices. I don't know if they'd approve me of wanting to leave Henford on Bagley, a place that's always meant so much to them. Oh, I know. Do you think you can make a cross stitch for them and ask them to ask them for me? I'd be quite grateful. No, I don't have the money to make a cross stitch. Ask about your dreams. You want to know about my dreams? I suppose I've always let my mind wander with fantasies about travel, adventure, and being somewhere other than this small village I grew up in. Okay. BRB. Maybe. I don't know if I'm still going to need you. So, the grocery delivery guy wants to leave Henford on Bagley. No! Why? Lavina, he just doesn't want to live here no more. Okay, catch a fish in old New Hunford's lake. Okay, now I gotta find the lake, which is right over here. Yeah. Go catch a fish. Fishing level three. Indigo is starting to love the outdoors. Yes. Kyle Kyleson, you keep following me. Ooh. Indigo caught a salmon. Indigo has discovered information about white wool, which has been added to her notebook. Indigo has discovered information about beige wool. Well, well then, I believe you've had a proper look at the local landscape. If you're wanting even more, more to do, might I suggest popping out of the Bramblewood? Out to the Bramblewood? It's a bit of a trek, but the scenery is straight out of a fairy tale. Look at the creature keeper who lives out that way. They may have some errands to keep you busy. Oh, and don't forget to attend the Finchwick Fair on Saturdays. There's always various friendly competitors, competitions taking place where you can best your neighbors. It's judged by yours truly, so stay on my good side. Offer help with errands. See what you need help with, Kim. And you ever have one of those days where you got too much to do and not enough time to do it? I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have a spare time. It's lovely to see a new face around these parts, but I'm just too busy right now to make a proper introduction myself. If you go. If you've got the time and mind, and mind to be a help, would you be a dear and grab some of those grocery orders? Oh, and I've forgotten to eat again. Not to mention that bouquet that I was going to make for my friend. Um, okay. You're a lifesaver. I need to collect a few grocery orders, so just write down this what Sims want and then let me know. And if you don't mind, I'm feeling a bit peckish and could use a bit to eat. Could you bring me a single serving of food of your choice? Surprise me. Oh, and here, let me give you a rose to take to the lovely creature keeper who stays in Bramblewood. I'm a bit nervous to deliver it myself. Would you mind bringing it to them and telling them how, and telling me how it went? Someone's got a crush. Someone's got a crush. Okay. Can I... Oh, you know what? Here. I have a watermelon salad. Eat it before it gets it goes bad. Sell items. Hi Agatha. I would like to sell this minnow and this salmon. Thank you. 
So let's see who needs help with their deliveries. How about you, Jace? Hmm, you? Mm, you. Offer help with errands. I don't want to help with errands. Collect grocery order. Four eggs, please. Collect grocery order. Collect grocery order. Oh dear, I'm out of eggs. Everybody needs eggs. Eggs. <laughs> How about you? Eggs. Everybody needs eggs. How about you? Do you need eggs too? Congratulate on your new job. Thank you. I need to know if you need something. Calm down, you weirdo. You're so fun to be around. Thanks. Anton McMillan. Hello. Discuss local fishing spots. Discuss if the chicken came first or the egg. love your shorts okay you should probably go up here and wash your hands brush your teeth get your hygiene up a little bit okay go to the bathroom Let's see is there any food over here no any food where is the picnic table over here? No. Alright. Go ask Sarah for some food. Grab some chips. And then come over here and talk to Kim. Um... Yes, Fox. Indigo, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Um, no. Really? I guess I'll just stay in my lane after all. No, you gotta stay in your lane, bud. Stay in your lane. So, I already have your information that you need. Maybe I need to go deliver the rose to the creature keeper. Let's go do that. And the creature keeper is right here. Oh, it's a cute little fox. Oh, mystery. <laughs> mystery fox. Um... Creature Keeper. Where is your little home? No, you're not. Are you here? Yeah, you're here. Hi, Creature Keeper. 
respectful introduction. Look at all your flowers. So pretty. Oh, he's very sad. Why are you sad? I don't know why you're sad, but... Here. Oh, console about death. What kind of errands do you need help with? Do you like mushrooms? I love them. There are some really good ones out in these woods, and I could use some help foraging them. You seem like a lover of natural of the natural world that surrounds us. Why don't you stick around and I can show you some of what I know. Okay. Uh, yes. I knew I could count on you. Let's get it. Let's take a journey, you and I. I need to know. I need you to get me some choco berries, a spicy mushroom, so I can make a special mash. It may taste a bit odd, but I think you'll find it gives you a real insight into some of the creatures around here. Enough talk. Let's do the mash. The mushroom mash. Ahaha. <laughs> what do you need? I need to give you. The creature keeper can offer, often be found in the Bramblewood near the cottage, da, 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 da. find them, give them the rose that the grocery owner asks you to give. Here. Oh, I have a choco berry. Here's a rose for you. go. Really? Forest? No. Should you happen to lose the rose, the grocery owner provided you, provided and find yourself in another nini. I gave it to you. Let me guess. It's broken too. Of course. <sighs> Deliver three choco berries to the creature keeper. Come over here and dig this up. Well. That sucked. Gave you a rose and it didn't even count. Okay, come over here and gather some water and go fishing. Ooh, do you have food? Are you eating your food? Are you going to eat it? Or are you just going to stare at it and yelling at it? Goodbye, Anton. Seriously, if you're not going to eat it, I'll eat it. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to eat it. If you're just going to be mad at it. Thank you. I'm going to lay, sit right next to you, eating it in your face. See, now look, you have room to play on your phone. See? It all works out. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go fish. <laughs> He's mad now. <laughs> I think he was mad before that, though. Trout. Upgrade part. I have all these upgrade parts, but I don't have anything to upgrade. Goldfish. Trout. Okay. Time to go back to the bar. Tell Kim 
Kim. I gave him the flower, but I didn't get credit for it. So, I don't know what you want me to do. Can you take this fish off my hands, though? Here, you can have a goldfish and a trout. I thought I had two trouts, but okay, whatever. Here you go. Thanks. Looks like that is broken, so come over here and fish. Fish, fish, fish. I don't know if you're going to be able to do these this one because this is not working and that's not working either so yay brokenness from the sims level 4 fishing ooh harvest all these Okay. Ooh, I need you to come over here real quick. Like, run. Run here. Okay. Now, sell. Ooh, we got ten blueberries. Two trout. There. Now, let's go back to the bramble wood. Trade berries. Two blueberries for a choco berry. Pleasure doing business with you. Seriously? Fine. I will buy a stupid rose. Here. Now that it decided to work. Thank you. This is a beautiful flower, but I'm left wondering if the groceries, if the grocery owner had incorrect notions about us. Give them my regards, and oh, let me give you these charming and verdant mushrooms to take to them as a way to return the favor. They can't be, they can be a gift or, they can be a gift or not. Leave it up to you. I don't want to send the wrong signals. Okay. I need one more choco berry. Well, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content I have on my channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all having a great day or night, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and toodles.